I missed last week's videos because I've been sick for like the past three weeks. Having a kid in daycare is tough. First you gave me a stomach bug, then a cold, then the cold turned into a sinus infection. Normally I just let these colds pass, but this one lingered on for like three weeks and started getting worse. Finally I gave up, went to the doctor, they gave me a steroid shot in my ass, some antibiotics, and some shit to spray up my nose. <sighs> Feeling much better. When I released the Neutron in June of 2018, 20 by 20 parts were still in infant stages. We tried pretty much every 20 by 20 component, searching for the Holy Grail, which was a setup that can run 6S reliably without flipping out. Nothing really worked until the Emacs Mini Mag 2, which is a great stack, but I hated the M2 hardware. I still believe that 20 by 20 components are the future, and the future is here. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Heli Nation Talon F7 flight controller. There's nothing more I hate than troubleshooting and fiddling with hardware or software that's troublesome. Time is valuable. I just want to build and get to fly in. When I choose components for a build now, I look for durability, features, and easy to build. Since this is a first review, I really won't know about the durability, but the Talon F7 definitely ticks off the features and easy to build. First, I'll go over the highlights of the Talon F7. The board measures 25 by 25 with 20 by 20 M3 mount holes. Yes! Finally, M3 on 20 by 20 parts. I'm so glad manufacturers are finally realizing there's no need to use M2 mount holes. Nobody wants to source special M2 hardware just to save a couple grams. It uses an F7 processor with 6 UARTs. Four of them are full UARTs with RX and TX pins, so you could pretty much connect whatever you want to it. RGB LED, Crossfire, Smart Audio, VTX pit switch, or even GPS. It's got Betaflight OSD, 5 volt 2 amp BEC on multiple pads, 5 volt or 3.3 volt selectable RX power output. It can be powered directly off the battery up to 36 volts. That's 8S. What I love most about the Talon F7 is that the 8 pin connector is a direct plug in to the Akon AK32 20x20 uh, ESC and the board layout. So this will just be a quick overview of my build. If you want to see the full build complete with schematic and step by step on how to build this quad, I'll put all the instructions on my website. I'll put the link in the description below. So what I really love about the Talon F7 paired with the Akon AK32 ESC is that the 8 pin connector is a direct plug-in from the ESC to the flight controller. So all you have to do is you just plug the sucker in and you don't have to worry about ESC signals or powering up the, um, on how you're gonna power up the board or anything. Everything is already set. So you basically, if you have everything laid out like this with the battery cables pointing to the rear, like I have in my build, you got um, the board is already oriented in the right direction with the USB on the right side and then everything is laid out perfect. You got the camera connection right on the front of the board. So on the back of the board there's actually a little error on the labeling. Right here where it says ground that's actually a RX2. So if you want to connect your crossfire this is where you would do it. You just go TX2 RX2 and then here's your ground 5 volt and then if you're using something like a FR Sky or a Spectrum and you want to use these um, pads right here there's a ground and then there's a power pad and then the S bus signal but on the power pad over here you designate if you want a 5 volt or a 3.3 volt for Spectrum and then down here there's another um, jumper that you have to set for your VTX power the left side is VBAT and then the right side is 5 volt so that'll designate how much power you want to run out to your VTX. So since on this build, I won't go too much into the VTX that I'm using because I'm, use, I'm, I'm doing a separate post on the TBS Unify uh, Pro 32 Nano, which is an awesome, awesome VTX. I'll be doing a post on that uh, tomorrow or a day after. So I'll skip the details on how to hook that up. But anyways, if you want to hook, hook, hook up like a regular... Um, you know smart audio VTX you just go VTX which is signal and then there's a ground here there's a 5 volt here if you want to just run straight 5 volt and then um, you know there's your power connections right there you just set make sure you set the correct power otherwise you'll blow up your VTX so you see when you have everything set up on the board everything is neat 
camera wires are up front along with the crossfire so it just goes under wherever you want to mount it and then um, I won't go into the hookup as I said this is the TBS Unify Pro 32 Nano alright time to go fly alright so now we're at the track I basically just took off the canopy of the Neutron and put on the skeleton so I can add a GoPro later but I just actually just flew my first pack of the day and um, I flew it with the Pulse 1000 uh, I don't know, but this this quad is just way too light for my build or for my skills. So I just I switched up the battery to the Tattoo 1300 to give it some weight, and I'll probably just go ahead and throw on the GoPro just to add on some weight. But uh, I haven't flown a quad in probably at least two months, so let's see how it goes. Alex over here complaining about flying first class to China. I did not complain about flying first class. What? Rich, rich boy problems. What? I did not. <laughs> that is a total lie and a total scam. He's getting, been, say he's getting so food. tired of traveling all over the world to fly his quad. We literally just off camera a moment ago had this discussion. Poor you Alex. You're like eventually it would feel like work. Poor and Alex. I enjoy it, but it is work. So if you're looking to build a 20 by 20 stack. I highly recommend you taking a look at the Talon F7 flight controller paired with the Akon AK32 20x20 ESC. The Talon F7 is loaded with features, easy to build, and makes for a super clean build and it flies great. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be talking about my new favorite VTX.